In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through setting up your PS4, PS5, and PS5 Pro to stream to Lightstream, where you can add overlays, alerts, and simulcast up to five platforms, do multiplayer streams, and so much more. Let's get into this video. Lightstream is a cloud-based streaming service that captures the stream from your console that's going to Twitch and re-encodes it with your customizations using our platform. Lightstream is free to use, but there's also a premium version that unlocks several features for you, as well as including 1080p streaming and removing the Lightstream branding from your stream. To get started, we're gonna go ahead and customize the interface and we're gonna sign in using our information and it's going to ask us to choose a camera as well as a microphone. Don't worry if you just wanna stream directly from your console Console. You won't have to have this connected each time, but for setup, it's going to ask you to do this each time to get inside to be able to make these changes. Once you get inside, you'll be greeted with something like this, and we're gonna need to walk through step by step to get everything set up. We're gonna actually start with going to settings and turning on game mode. This is actually going to give us the game source, which is what's gonna come from our PlayStation. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on stage just so that you can see me as we walk through the rest of this tutorial. Just to show you a couple of customizations under the design panel, you can actually change the primary color of a lot of the things that you're gonna see on screen, such as the participant names, if you actually have a name or want to do any of the multiplayer stuff. When we actually do that later in the stream, you'll see that my name is up there. We can change that color to kind of whatever you want and do a bunch of other customizations like choosing different styles, etc. You will also have the Lightstream actual logo right here, the branding. This can be removed if you were a premium subscriber or you can move it around and even upload your own logo if you'd like. So let's go ahead and add some alerts and overlays. On the right side of the screen, you can see the produce panel. And under here, we have a bunch of video stuff that we'll come back to in just a moment. But then we see Twitch alerts as well as overlays. Now let's go ahead and start with overlays and then go back up to the integrated Twitch alerts that we have through Lightstream. For the overlays, we can actually use XPN overlays for free subscribers. And if you're a premium subscriber, you can actually use any third party overlay as long as it's set to 1080p. You can also add images if you want to use an image as an overlay. All you have to do is simply add plus URL and then just go ahead and paste that URL link. If it's from XPN, which is one I've already preloaded here, you would give it a name, paste the URL, and then just click save. Once again, I just want to stress, make sure that these overlays are set to 1080p. To activate the overlay, once you've added it, all you have to do is simply click it and it will pop up on screen. And as you can see right here, I actually have an event list from XPN as well as my follower list on the right. We also have the integrated Twitch alerts for our platform, which you don't have to actually install anything. They are just here. All you have to do is toggle them on and then you can actually preview them by clicking the eyeball beside them. And you'll see that they'll pop up either in the bottom middle or you can choose the top middle and move them to the top again or the bottom of the screen. And they actually cover cheers, raids, subscribes, resubscribes, as well as gifts. And you can go ahead and preview those to see what they would look like on screen. Covering what's above this, you actually see videos and you can see that you've got starting soon screens, you've got actually ending screens as well as be right back screens. But the cool thing about this is you can actually favorite things and put them on the hot bar across the bottom and trigger them using shift one through four. So for example, this first one right here is actually the be right back screen. I'm gonna hit shift one and it'll actually pop up in that screen. And this is what your viewers would be able to see. You can hit it again for it to come actually pull it down. And then shift three is actually the XPN overlay we just uploaded for us to actually see. You can see I can trigger it on and off that easy. To add a favorite, it's really easy. Just go to the bottom of the element and just click the star on that element and it will add it across the bottom of the bar. And you can just drag and move these around however you would like to make this easy for you. Now the next step is to actually connect your platforms and you can do that under settings and you can see add destinations. What you can see is I've actually already added to my Twitch as well as my YouTube channel, but you can add anything that you see here or you can do actually custom RTMP destinations and put in the URL stream key and go ahead and name this to go ahead and be able to send the stream out to that destination. For Twitch, YouTube, and some other platforms, you can actually click onto them and change the titles that you're wanting that stream to be once it goes live before you go live as well as add a description here for YouTube. You can also have them pre-added and turn them on or off if you don't want to stream to every platform at that time. For resolution, you're gonna be using what your plan uses. For example, your free plans will go up to 720p, but your premium plans will be able to go up to 1080p. And now most of the time you're going to have the game source full screen. Even if you go live from your console and you don't wanna to connect to camera, you don't wanna sign into Lightstream Studio, you can totally just do that. And we can just leave the 
game source up and this is what it could be. You could just go live from your console and just have your overlays go out. You don't have to have signed in or have this up somewhere. You can set this up one time and leave it or you could have a more produced stream and connect these things like more cameras. You can even add multiple cameras from your end adding guests and invite guests, which we'll talk about in just a minute, to make a more well-produced stream. You also can monitor all of your live stream chat here from platform chat, as well as chat privately with your guests in the live stream platform. So the next step is to actually go live from our console, but what we need to do is actually get a DNS server so that we can put it into our PlayStation 4, 5, or Pro so that it can actually stream and connect directly to Lightstream from our console. To get that DNS server to put into your PlayStation, look down in the description and click the link for you to actually check where your best DNS server is. And once you do that, it'll actually load up local to you, give you that best server. And on screen right now, you're seeing how to be able to plug that into to not only the PlayStation 4, but also to plug it into the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 5 Pro. Once that's done and you go live from your console, it will show up into Lightstream Studio. And if everything is set up correctly, you will be live on Twitch with the overlays and customizations that you've set up. Now, what you see right here is me actually live. I'm playing Destiny 2 right now. And you can see that we are live on the console and the latency is actually really low if I'm being completely honest. So we are live right here, but let's take a look at what it looks like on Twitch. So here we are actually live over on Twitch. You can see our overlays, our event list that's there. And if I go back over to here and I add my camera, you'll be able to see that I can pop up my camera right here. You can see that it's actually loaded up just fine right there. You can see my camera in the bottom left corner and we can actually do some customization with this. We can actually move it up to the side. We can show it just like this and you can see it over on Twitch is reflecting almost real time of us making these adjustments and these updates. But what if we want to add some friends to have a multiplayer stream? Maybe we're doing a party game or something like that. So the next step is actually click invite guests and we can bring on guests. They can joined by mobile, by computer, whatever the case. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this link to myself and show you what it looks like. So what you can see is me actually adding in the other camera angle here. You can see the game up here. We've got the other different cameras. We can really adjust these and kind of make a really interesting kind of gaming experience and streaming experience just from our console. And you can see from a PlayStation perspective, we're just playing a video game, but we could totally be doing something together and be able to let everyone have the experience of seeing everyone in our party react in real time. And once you've ended your stream, you can actually see the game source goes offline and it's offline once again. All you have to do is end it on the console and you're good to go. To stay updated with what's happening here at Lightstream Studio, make sure you follow us over on Twitter or X and join our Discord. All of those links will be down in the description as well as everything else you need that we've mentioned in this tutorial. Hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching.